Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. For some reason, I've been feeling anxious lately. It's like I have some kind of tiny voice inside my head that's telling me there's something that I said I was going to do, but I put it off for a year now, and I don't know what it could be. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to complete my latest playthrough of Luigi's Mansion 3. Subscription boxes, a collector's worst nightmare. Boxes filled with special items that come in every so often and end up crowding everybody's closets. And the only way to get rid of them is to cancel them, but that's a hard decision depending on what comes with everything and how you feel about it. This right here is the third Spongebob related box that I have received. I've gone over this, but the first box I received as a Christmas gift from my family, and the second box was them not realizing that it was a subscription box. I said they could cancel it, but I guess they didn't cancel it until after this box came in, so today I will be opening this box and taking a look at what's inside. Again, I'm not sponsored. If you heard my last paragraph, you know why I have this box. And I can already say it looks very cheap and lazy. It looks like whoever made this just very lazily taped on this piece of paper that says to be continued on it. That's just unprofessional. If they want to call it a to be continued box, I don't know why it doesn't have any colorful flair on it. Just this white piece of paper with black text. And I don't know what to be continued has to do with SpongeBob. Wait. Oh, what do you know? It's not a to be continued box. It's a Krusty Krab box, and that makes sense. There's so much about the Krusty Krab that can be translated into merchandise and cash in on, but I don't know why it has that to be continued piece of paper on it. That's just bizarre. The Krusty Krab is one of the top five most shown locations in the series. It was founded and owned by Mr. Eugene H. Krabs and has two regular employees, Squidward Tentacles, who is the cashier, and SpongeBob SquarePants, who is the fry cook. The Krusty Krab is famous for its Krabby Patty, Bikini Bottom's favorite sandwich, which has a super secret formula that was created by Mr. Krabs and Plankton when they were kids in an attempt to not be bullied by their classmates. A fight between them caused an accident that inadvertently created the perfect patty batter. After the kids at school loved Krabs' burger more than Plankton's chum burger, Plankton vowed to steal the secret formula and not stop until he finally does that. Almost everything about the Krusty Krab seems to vary from episode to episode. In the first couple seasons or so, there was a window in the background that seems to be a little drive through window, but nobody was ever seen there. Mr. Krabs put in a regular drive through in episode 148, driving the tears from season 4, and then they accidentally created a drive through again in episode 296, drive through from season 8. The more recent seasons show a drive through very briefly as well, Specifically in the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water, episode 433, Drive Happy from season 11, and episode 505, Bubble Bass's Tab from season 12. The menu varies too. Sometimes the menu has so many items but doesn't show the prices, sometimes it has only a couple items, sometimes it has multiple items and does show the prices. The grill in the kitchen also seems to switch places from time to time. In episode 39, Neptune's Spatula from season 1, the grill is on the side wall. There are a few occasions where the grill is against the back wall, but most of the time, the grill is on the wall where the order window is shown, so Spongebob can easily hand Squidward the orders. All seven of the main characters have worked here at least once. Spongebob, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs have worked there throughout the entire show. Patrick worked there on a few occasions, with the first time being episode 34, Arg, from season 1, where Mr. Krabs hired and then fired him immediately after. The first episode which had major focus on Patrick working at the Krusty Krab was episode 46, Big Pink Loser. Sandy was shown briefly working there at the very end of episode 29, Karate Choppers. Gary was the bouncer at the Krusty Krab briefly at the end of episode 283, Shellback Shenanigans from season 7. As for Plankton, if you look quickly at the very last shot of episode 242, Chum Caverns from season 6, he was shown wearing a Krusty Krab hat working at the cash register. The Krusty Krab has appeared in every season and has been destroyed at least once a season. While it looks small on the outside, it's much bigger on the inside, and some episodes reveal that there's a lot more than we normally see. I won't go over all of them, but there are a few I will talk about. In episode 240, Truth or Square from season 6, there's an entire underground ventilation system. 
In episode 490, Breakin' from season 12, there's an employee break room hidden in between the kitchen and restrooms. There are numerous occasions where SpongeBob is not at the Krusty Krab, or at the very least not working the grill, but the customers do still get their food somehow, which is something that fans do realize from time to time, and it's never clearly explained. With all the iconic episodes that take place in the Krusty Krab, and everything we see and love about the Krusty Krab, it feels like something that is just prime for merchandise, and this box just makes sense to introduce. And now with that out of the way, let's get on with it. So the front of this box has a season 3 render of the Krusty Krab, everybody's favorite render, and a stamp with Spongebob riding a Krabby Patty on it. The back is a dark blue bikini bottom sky, the sides are all the damn same as the previous boxes I've talked about. The box looks like it was dented while it was in shipment for some reason. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen this time. It's also slightly bigger than the other two boxes I opened, but it oddly feels lighter than the others. We can see it's still built by Culturefly. Opening up this box, here's a postcard with the same Krusty Krab image as the front of the box, and on the back it says the items. Again, no spoilers. You know how it is. Alright, so first thing is that there's another vinyl figure. Surprise, surprise. This figure is of Mr. Krabs holding a bunch of money. While the pose does look familiar, I can't tell if it's based off a pose we see in Mr. Krabs from any episode. I might just be thinking of random promotional art for the show. Okay, so next up we have a Krusty Krab lunchbox. Opening it up, we have a free spoon inside. That's cute, but I have tons of spoons here, so this is worthless. I might be wrong, but this box looks awfully small to be a lunchbox. But to be fair, most of the time I had lunch at school, I brought my lunch in a paper bag or just bought school lunches, so what do I know? We also have this poster of the menu. Opening it up, the poster seems to be based on the menu's appearance from episode 103, Murray Man and Barnacle Boy 5 from season 3, with things like coral bits and the kelp shake, which is odd because that was never shown to be served at the Krusty Krab. Speaking of which, we also have this tumbler cup. This cup has a cool Krusty Krab design on it and a Kelp Shake logo, which doesn't make a lot of sense because Kelp Shakes were their own restaurant chain from episode 151, Best Frenemies from season 4. So I guess this Kelp Shake logo on the cup was put there because of this menu poster. But the cup also looks a little strange because this red stripe through the circle almost makes it look like it's anti Krusty Krab, which is also kind of weird. It came with a straw and it has plankton on top of it, which is a cute detail in my opinion. You can also move it around on the straw or take it off, which is good because I feel with this decoration, it feels like somebody can actually choke on it if they're not careful. There's also this blue Krabby Patty grill shirt. It has a Krabby Patty on the front and on the back it says fresh off the grill with a drawing of Spongebob. It's cool, but I personally would have preferred it if the bigger picture was on the front and the smaller picture was on the back. I do like how the ends of the sleeves and the neck is a darker blue. Next is the ever famous I really wish I weren't here right now button. Everybody knows this button because it appeared in episode 100 Krusty Krab training video from season 3 and it was worn by Squidward. I always imagined what it would be like to actually own one and it's so cool to finally have it. Last but not least we have a Krusty Krab pizza placemat and coaster set. I like how these coasters have tracings of Spongebob Squidward and Mr. Krabs and the Krusty Krab sign on them, but the pizza placemat seems to be lacking the pepperonis, which was on the pizza in episode 10, pizza delivery. The box they come in isn't the most exciting though. I think it would have been great if the box looked exactly like the Krusty Krab pizza box. It does have Spongebob on the back though, so that's neat, but still not show accurate. And that's everything from the Krusty Krab box. Wait. No Krusty Krab employee hat? So like last time, let's compare the items. So the Krusty Krab box is the biggest, and then it's the Glove World box, then the regular Bikini Bottom box. Every box came with a vinyl figure, and I'm the first human being to own three vinyl figures that came from Spongebob subscription boxes. Out of all three, I like the Patrick figure the best, but only because of how it's based on Patrick's appearance from an episode that I can remember quickly, which I can't say about the other two. For all three of the boxes, the piece of clothing items they include are all blue. The Bikini Bottom and Krusty Krab boxes each include a shirt, and the Glove World box has a jacket. I can definitely get use out of things like the coffee mug and the tumbler cup. The placemat's cute, but I have a tablecloth. I could get some use out of the coasters though. But overall, I got the other boxes over a year ago and I still barely touched any of these things since. I like the details on the menu poster, but I'm not much of a poster guy so I don't think I'll hang it. 
I think my favorite item out of all three of these boxes is the I really wish I weren't here right now button. It's a funny gag from the episode it's in, and to actually see it exist is really cool. With all three of these boxes, I like how there's at least a couple items that look dead on to an item that has appeared in an episode of the series before. I also feel like the Glove World box paid slightly more attention to detail than the Bikini Bottom and the Krusty Krab boxes, but the Krusty Krab box is a close second with its detail, especially with this button. And while I like most of the items that the Krusty Krab box came with, I feel like the ultimate missed opportunity was including some kind of Krusty Krab hat. That would have been insane to own a Krusty Krab hat that looks like the one in the show. And just like that, I'm done with these damn subscription boxes. My family who got me these boxes canceled the subscription, and now I can finally have more room for my feet on the coffee table. I feel like as long as you see value in a subscription box like this, then it wouldn't hurt to go for it. Just be careful to make sure you know it's a subscription box, because if you only want one particular subscription box, then make sure you get that subscription box and cancel the subscription immediately after. Holy crap, I said subscription so many times today. And as for my final thoughts on these boxes, I can't believe my family wasted their hard-earned, extremely scarce, cold hard cash on these things. 